welcome back to another video so in this video again we are going to look at a different scenario now so previously we already configured l2 untag and now we have a same different zone for l3 r3 so we were able to communicate now this time there are two different routers which have been added and they are on a different subnets now so r4 and r5 we have been added and they are on a different subnet so we have to configure the interfaces so i will configure the same way how we configured before so if you remember in the previous uh, lecture that um, we configured the palo alto as a layer 2 device the all the interfaces as a layer 2 so i will do the same configuration so what should happen is that not only the 10 network but also the 20 network should be able to communicate with each other so first i will do the configuration so i will go back and I will just delete this policy which I created and I will go to the in network I will go to interface 1 slash 3 and I will just change this one to the same zone intra zone and say ok and commit so I'm doing nothing new it's just the same thing I'm just making this all the zone all the interfaces in the same zone and after that i should be r1 r2 r3 should be able to communicate then r4 and r5 should also be able to communicate because my palo alto is receiving an untagged traffic so there is no tagging even though the switches are connected here but they are not being configured to tag the traffic so even though switches are connected they are not being configured to tag the traffic so we are not tagging traffic it's just like uh, Palo Alto is acting like a bridge so what you can utilize is saying that you can just assign the interfaces as a different zone and you can make the Palo Alto to act as an IPS to detect the malware and the files so I'll go back to Palo Alto now configuration is committed so let's go back to the R1 and if I say that ping 10.1.2 I should be able to ping ping 10.1.1.3 I should be able to ping and if I go to R4, which is show IP interface brief 20.1.1, if I say ping 20.1.1.2, I should be also able to ping. So the only intention of this lab is that uh, to let you know that um, Palo Alto is acting just like a bridge when it is untagged traffic. So it is not detecting. So so you can take a scenario that the yes, switch is connected and you have uh, R1, R2, R3, and R4. So R1 and R2 will be on 10.1.1.0 slash network. And R3 and R4 will be on a 20.0 slash network. Since it is an in, uh, untagged traffic, so whatever what happens is like whenever the packet is coming in, it will broadcast to all the interfaces. The one who is the actual destination will reply to that packet and all of them will discard. The same thing is happening here with the Palo Alto when the packet is coming in. It is just uh, for broadcasting to all of them and whoever is the destination, it is responding to that particular packet and remaining all of them are discarding that particular packet. So I hope this was informative for you and thank you.